Oh my God. <laughs> I was bored out of my skull. I'm telling you, so bored, like my skull literally, I felt my brain trying to get out on them things. They're like, why are you watching this and them things? They're... Yo, I've been through a lot of stuff in my life, yeah? But yo, tonight I almost lost the will to live in them things there. Man almost went and kicked the bucket. I think I did go in the bathroom and just kick the bucket just for, because I was annoyed. <laughs> just because I was annoyed in them things there. It was boring as hell. Date night, you know? Anyway, let's get to it in them things there. It's your boy Fred Stones. You know how we do 9pm gang and all that stuff, guys? Hit that sub button, comment, share, like. You get me 10k soon, come on, all that things there. You get me in the list to the moon. You get me? But yeah, um, let's break down tonight, man. Tonight's episode started when everyone was just waking up from the little baby party that they had the night before. Everyone just waking up, hungover from flipping Diet Coke and bungles and them things there. Then the text comes through first thing in the morning. It was for Paige and flipping Tim Westwood to go on a date. Flipping Adam in it. And Paige was gas, just gas. She's like, oh, I'm done playing it cool. Like, is that what she been doing? She could have fooled me and them things there. Dammy said she's a catch. Like, who does he think he is? Luca. She's a catch. What are you, a fisherman? Waste man thing. But yeah, I don't know what it is with all these guys, yeah. What, what kind of spell that Paige... Paige has got on them things there, all them thinking there, which is wifey material and all this stuff. I swear down, she must be popping in her wheat a bit or something. I don't know what it is, but they think that her doo smells of roses in them things there, yeah? Paige went and got ready. The girls went and had their little morning chat and all that stuff. And Ekin Sue said that she loves Davide. She dropped the L word in them things there. Like, yo, love is in the air. Yo! Tasha saying she couldn't be any happier with Andrew and all that stuff. Do you know what? I'm actually happy for Tasha and Andrew. There's been no negative press about them, no negativity. Like, they look like a proper hillbilly couple of them things. They're happy, go-lucky people and them things. I'm, I'm so happy for them. But yeah, they were talking about how them babies, them little idiot, yeah, stupid plastic babies made them tired and all that stuff. Joke thing. Adam and Paige went on a date, yeah? They went on a little boat thing and all that stuff, yeah? And the whole time, yeah... I was just wishing the, the sailor, whoever's directing that boat, would just break their compass and just take them away from us. So we don't have to see them again in them things there. In the middle of the ocean, some castaway thing. You know them ones there? Yo, that date was dry. Drier than a giraffe's neck back. I swear that was dry like stockfish in them things there. They, it was dead. They was having like forced conversations. I feel like these dates might have been scripted. Because they're saying the same words over and over again to them things there. It sound like a flipping scratch vinyl or scratch disc in them things. Like, it just sounds mad. And I was just wishing the wind would just blow them away or something. You get me? That like God would just pop and just wipe them. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> oh, my God. When I watched this show, yeah, I still can't believe this Adam brother's meant to be 26. Fam, he looked like he was around touring with the Bee Gees and them things there. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Stay in the light. <laughs> Oi, my man look like he's Colombo's aging and things there. I don't know, just, just looking. But back in the house, yeah, the guys were trying to do some nice stuff again just to make the girls happy. I think it's about time. They've put these girls through so much. Get me? Just so much wahala and them things there. Like, it's about time they start washing their feet, clipping their toenails and wiping their batties and them things there. But they, they made them a little fruit dessert thing. You get me? Um, It was dead, brother. Like, it, <laughs> I don't know what. It, it was dead. It was dead. A for effort. For presentation, eh, uh, like, that's a no pass. Like, it was absolutely dead. But they're trying and them things there. Back to Adam and Paige's date. I was watching that date thinking, I hope Jax's ain't still at the airport waiting and them things there. That man is going to stay in that airport for so long, going to end up like flipping Tom Hanks in that in that film where he was just stuck in the airport. I can't even remember the name of it and them things there. Jax needs to forget about this gal, go home, get some personal and wash his boxes and them things there. Because this gal is a waste. She's for the M25. Absolutely. <laughs> She's for the roadside. This girl is trash. It was only the other day, yeah, where she was so loyal to Jax and she didn't want to like, she didn't want to try anything with Jay. Even though she wanted, she wanted Jay and them things there. She wants to stay lo loyal to Jax. And then, this Adam brother comes in. She, she don't even, have you not heard Jax's name ever mentioned since? You know them ones there? It's mad, this girl is <laughs> crazy. But yeah, their date was kind of dead. And not much I can tell you about it. It was like, they kept saying the same things that they said over and over on the show to each other again and them things there. It was like someone put a battery in their backs and they weren't even real. You know them things there? Like, anyway, that was that. They came back, told everyone about the dates. But when you see the rest of the dates, like during the day and them things there, you realise their date is like, like kind of dead. You know them ones there? It's like other people went to Novikov and they gave you some 199 chicken and chips and them things there. Absolutely rubbish date. But anyway, they came back, Paige was gassed. 
sat all the girls down in them things there, like, sat them right in a circle like she's telling a little nighttime story in them things there. And she told them about the date. She said it's the best date she's ever been on. True say a girl like Paige, yeah? She probably gets taken to like flipping dogging park and them things there, you know what I'm saying? Probably going to watch sheep and them things there. Then another text comes through. Another text comes through for flipping Dami in India, Damir and them things there to go on a date. And I was like, finally! Excellent! Excellent Smithers. You know that one's there? Man wants to get me. Finally something man, man, man wants to watch. Even though I still want to cough Dami in his head. I still think he's into Paige a little bit. Or Paige is into him. But they got a little something there, get me? But anyway, they got ready India looks sexy. <clears throat> Hot tamale. Yo, she look like some sexy scotch bonnet and them things there. She just looks so beautiful in that red outfit and that red number. She look, mwah, 10 out of 10. Dami look like Dami. <laughs> like, he look like how bus conductors look in Lagos when they're riding at Danfo and them things there. But yeah, um, <laughs> he looked cool as well. He looked all right. He just looked normal and them things there. They went into this little town. It was just them at first. Then all of a sudden, they're hearing drums. They're like, yo, they got shook at first. Like, yo, what's that sound in them things there? Doom, 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 doom. Got louder. Then you see the whole town come out to celebrate their love of them things there. Drummers, dancers, flamencos. Yo, it was so... Oh, my God. All I was missing from that scene was flying fireworks. Like, it was like a scene from one of them flipping Spanish films and them things there. One of the Mexican films. El Negro. <laughs> It was beautiful. Like, I, I really liked it. You get me? Like, I felt like they pulled out all the stops for Dami in India. That's before I saw flipping Akisu and Davide's date. But yeah, it went very well. They sat down, just looked into each other's eye and them things there. You get me? Praised each other. And they told each other they loved each other again. Because that, that word's easily rolling off the tongue before. At first it was like, I, I love you. I love you sort of thing. You get me? And then now it's just like, yo, my love's, you get me? Daps, hugs and them things. It, it's easy to say I love you now. And Dami, Dami asked India to be his girl. I was like, oh, yes, so. I couldn't believe it. Dami asked India to be his girl. And she said yes. And I it was, so, it was so emotional. You know? I'm trying to get my words out <laughs> It was beautiful. I'm telling you. It was so, like, I really liked it. <laughs> I really liked it. India. I love India. I love everything about India. Like, it's not even, like, every India's cool. You get me? Dami, huh? He's cool. Hmm, he'll do. <laughs> but yeah, they had a little nice day and all that stuff. They came back as well. Told the guys. Um, India said, yo, it's the best date she's ever been on in them things there. You get me? Best I ever had. Best I ever had. Best I ever had. Cause she hold me down every time I hit up. When I get right, I promise that we gonna live it up. I understand! Mwah! She came back, she told everyone. Then the next text comes in, yeah? The next text comes in for the next date and everything's there. Davide and Ekin Sue's date. Wow! And as I'm saying, wow! It doesn't fully explain how magnificent and just... Yo, it was, it was beautiful. It was almost like a, a wedding thing. It was mad. It was like a... A stadium coliseum setting. You know in a circle like a gladiator setting. Have you anyone seen gladiators? You get me? It was like that kind of setting. But they was in the middle of the stadium. Candle lit. Lanterns everywhere. The whole stadium lit up. Ekisu in a white dress. Everything was white. All white like a KKK party and them things there. Do you know what I'm saying? All white like Boston George and them things there. It was mad. I could not believe how beautiful. Just the settings alone, yeah? It just... Bro, I'm not gonna lie. That's that. This is settings alone almost brought tears to my eyes. It was man had to go up in the throat and them things there. It was crazy. Like Ekisu was like, yo, this is the most beautiful thing I've ever, ever, ever seen. It was crazy. It was crazy. Imagine, yeah, when Adam and Paige go back home and they watch back the Love Island thing and realize that their date was on a dinghy compared to like India and Dami's and flipping Ekisu and Davide's. They will feel cheated. What? <laughs> It was mad. It was, it was, it was marvellous. It was magnificent. I've lost words trying to describe it, but it was so angelic. You know them ones there? Like, Ekisu was so stunned, she couldn't even get the words out of her mouth. And like, for Ekisu not to be able to get the words out of her mouth, you know there's something wrong there. There's absolutely something wrong. This girl, she can check for England, you know what I'm saying? They brought in one brother to sing for them. He was just standing on the steps, just singing his hours long. You know that man there, them, them opera singers, them man there sing like they've been, they've, they've had one too many kebabs and drinks and them things. They're just drunk. <laughs> they 
It was beautiful. It was it was nice. It was good. The guy sang for them and all that stuff. Ekin Sue was saying to Davide, oh, you know, out of all the places I would want to be in the world right now, I'd rather I wouldn't want to be anywhere without you. You know that was there. Oh, I'd rather be with you. Ooh, yeah. Oh, said I'd rather be with you. Listen. It was nice still. It was so beautiful. It was boring as hell. Fam, man nearly took out my eyelid today. You get me? Just because I was bored. Just digging out, trying to find old dry muku in the eye and them things there. Just, it was, but it was a decent show in the end. You get me? <sighs> it's going to be more dates tomorrow. <sighs> Definitely looking forward to that, aren't I? <laughs> anyway, they came back from their date and all that stuff. And when it was coming back here, Adam and Flippin' Page was discussing it, saying, oh, where do you reckon they're going for their date? And Adam was like, oh, they're probably going to some Italian restaurant. That's him judging it by the standard of his date. Fam, they didn't. Wait till you see it. You're going to be sick as hell. But yo, dead things. That's word to Anna and them things there. Guys, let me know what you think about this episode.